How to make an unturkey roast? In a large bowl, add three cups of gluten flour, add half a cup of arrowroot powder, half a cup of nutritional yeast, and one third cup of raw ground almonds. In addition, add half a teaspoon of rosemary, thyme, and sage, as well as a pinch of salt and pepper. Puree one block of tofu in a food processor and add it to the mix. Take half a cup of dry quick oats, cook it in water, let it cool, and then add it to the mixture. Now add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and two cups of water. Mix everything up with a spatula and knead for 10 minutes. Cover up the dough and let it rest for 30 minutes. In a large pot of cold water, you want to add 3 to 4 dry shiitake mushrooms. You can find those in Asian markets and they add a lot of flavor to the broth. Uh, put in 1 onion, 3 large carrots, 3 stalks of celery, 2 cups of nutritional yeast, 1 and a half cups of white wine, and 1 cup of soy sauce. And that will be your broth. Now that the seitan has been resting for about 30 minutes, we're going to knead it again for about another 10 minutes. Transfer the dough onto a double layer cheesecloth. We're now going to form the seitan into the unturkey roast by placing a ceramic mug in the middle and pulling up the seitan around the mug and forming a hole in the middle for the stuffing. Once the mug is covered by the seitan, we can tie a knot at the end of the cheesecloth to retain the shape. Take the seitan package you just made, dunk it in the broth you made earlier, and turn on the heat to low, and let it simmer for about 10 hours. Make sure you top off the pot every couple of hours with water, you can also do this in a slow cooker if you have one. To make the stuffing, you want to heat up margarine in a pan. Dice one cup of onions, one cup of carrots, one cup of celery, and one cup of mushrooms. Toss them in the pan and saute for a couple of minutes. Add 4 cups of croutons. You can make your own by cutting up some bread and toss them in oil and then toasting them in the oven until golden brown. You can borrow some of the broth from the unturkey pot and pour it into the stuffing mixture to help flavor and moisten the bread. Cover the pan and let it cook for 3 to 5 minutes. And keep adding more water as necessary. We want the croutons to be so moist that they fall apart completely. Remove from heat, let cool, and refrigerate. After 10 hours of simmering, this is what the unturkey looks like. Um, we're just going to cover it up, turn off the heat, and let it cool before removing it from the broth. After removing the unturkey, the broth can be made into gravy. Now we begin the process of removing the cheesecloth from the seitan and the ceramic mug from the middle. With a convenient hole in the center, we can now start stuffing the unturkey. Purchase tofu skin from an Asian supermarket Lay out one layer of the tofu skin and wrap it around the unturkey you just stuffed. Make sure you don't leave out the tofu skin for too long like I did or it will become dry and crispy like you see here. Mm -hmm. 
Once you get the first layer, get another sheet of tofu skin and wrap it around again. You want to create a base by melting a third cup of margarine and mixing it with an equal amount of broth from earlier. Brush this mixture on the unturkey until it is completely covered. Now you're ready to pop the roast into the oven for an hour. Make sure you baste the unturkey with the mixture you just made once every 10 to 15 minutes. To make the gravy, you want to heat up a pan with margarine, add about half a cup of flour, and whisk the flour until it forms little lumps. Pour in the broth that you used for simmering the unturkey. Keep whisking until the mixture is thickened. After an hour, this is what your unturkey should look like. Transfer it to a nice platter, dress it up with colorful garnish, and wow your guests with this traditional cruelty-free holiday roast.